seems only yesterday that I attended the first um, CBA conference in, uh, in Dhaka many years ago. And funnily, throughout this period, I was always thinking that this is the new conference series that Salim and Hannah and their friends organized. Suddenly, I looked uh, on, on the screen, seeing it's the ninth one. It's been around for nine years. And um, I realized suddenly that it has reached a level of maturity, a level of maturity that has made it one of the most eagerly anticipated and well-respected uh, conference series on adaptation. So uh, congratulations on that. Um, and um, fortunately, this maturity has not come along with um, a lack of innovation. It did not come at the expense of being innovative and creative. Um, in fact, I'm incredibly impressed at how the current incarnation of the conference um, has adopted a very prominent learning uh, component. We've seen this here um, in the context of interactive exercises, both in the out-of-the-box sessions and, um, and those in the regular sessions. Um, and the existence of this learning component does not only point to innovation, but also to how Salim here practices what he preaches. I must have heard him say the word learning a thousand times in the past few months <laughs> in every single uh, event that we, we go to together. Um, I'm glad that he's seeing his ideas come to fruition in this manner. Um, also, uh, another innovation in this conference is the, is the fun factor. Um, I can't count how many times we've, uh, we've been laughing um, throughout um, the sessions. And um, much, much of this I have um, to thank Mr. Pablo Suarez here uh, for. He has injected a lot of fun exercises here, as he always does. Um, and so thank you for that as well. Um, now, um, let me say something about the relevance of the CBA context to the negotiations, the climate change negotiations. By now, all of you know that we're poised for a global transformation, a global transformation towards carbon resilient, um, sorry, carbon neutral uh, development as well as carbon resilient um, development um, and ad adaptive development as well. Um, now, a transformation implies a displacement from point A to point B. So, um, if we really uh, consider the climate change world to be a basket of themes, adaptation, mitigation, finance, technology, capacity building, um, and each of these themes consisting of many sub-themes, including CBA under adaptation, um, the, um, the, the, the thing is that there's actually no basket here. Uh, the themes don't move together at the same pace. Some move faster than others. And, um, because of that, some may be left behind, unless there is a critical mass of supporters championing it. Um, action at community level is one such niche. Uh, this is ironic because it is the community level that includes the most vulnerable, and it is the most vulnerable that are the main clients of the climate change negotiations. Um, so the system needs constant reminders of this fact, of the priority that needs to be accorded to CBA. And what better than the voices of 400 participants in this conference as well as 100 youth participants in the parallel conference to move this process forward, as well as all your friends, associates, co-workers back home, to make sure that CBA is not just kept alive, but is given its rightful place at the top of the priority list. Now, this is not just lip service, but a call for action to scale up your communication to our negotiating process, to the climate change process, through side events, through publications, and even through participating as observers in our official constituted bodies. Many of you already do that, um, such as the adaptation committee. Um, this, there will be possibilities for that in the upcoming loss and damage committee as well. And um, also with partnering with the Nairobi Work Programme on Impacts, Vulnerability and Adaptation, which happens to be um, the knowledge hub that we have for um, adaptation under the NFCC and which, as the name implies, has also been uh, adopted here in this uh, city. Uh, and please talk to, uh, to me if you need any more information on this. Now, back to the negotiations, on the bright side, there are quite a few 
parts of the current draft of the negotiating text that do allude to CDA. There are provisions that call for adaptation action taking account of traditional indigenous knowledge and that the national adaptation plans should build on existing community-driven and traditional adaptation efforts. So, um, so we have some basis there to build upon. And we need to recall again that climate change is not the only process um, this year that needs um, this type of, um, of, uh, of input. Um, we just finished the Sendai process, but there's implementation that will go on um, as, as a result. We have the finance for development process. We have um, the post-2015 development agenda and its uh, SDGs. And all of these have climate change components that would benefit a lot from um, being uh, given um, a drive to consider CBA in, in, in a more prominent way. Um, the declaration out of this conference is, of course, a very good step to stimulate recognition as well, and I hope that, uh, that it's picked up appropriately by the media. So, um, uh, what I've been trying to say is that uh, there is a good basis to build upon um, uh, what we have now in order to make sure that this seminal year actually takes on board CBA in a much uh, more pronounced fashion than it has before. And uh, what is now needed is to further this momentum and extend its effectiveness. And we rely, we rely on you all to help move us in this direction. Thank you very much.